101. Stardom 101. It's the Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast. Shine your light on today's tastemakers and innovators. Keep it with your host, Christopher Boyd. It's the Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast. It's Start a One-on-One Magazine podcast here on iHeartRadio. Thank you guys tuning in to our weekly podcast episodes where we feature talented individuals on the rise to start them. Today, I got my guy Little Valley in the building. Little Valley, what's going on with you, bro? Uh, nothing much, man. It's an honor to be on here. I appreciate you having me. Absolutely, man. South Carolina in the building. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, That's what's up. you know. For those who don't know, Little Valley is into the music industry. If you could... In your own words, your perspective, you can give us a background story of how you came into the industry, kind of like what motivated you, what inspired you uh, to really get into the music industry. What does music do for you? Um, I mean, I started listening and dabbling in music when I was, oof, before I even hit my teenage years. I uh, My dad played guitar for like 20 plus years. Wow. So he was in and out of bands and everything like that, doing shows. So I was already kind of in the scene, mm-hmm. but I wasn't like doing anything myself. Mm-hmm. I um, I wrote my first release actually blazing at the age of sixteen and didn't officially record it until uh twenty twenty one. Wow. Yeah, I um. Inspiration wise, mainly was mm-hmm. my father mm-hmm. being number one, and then the the influences I listened to at the time. My dad was like deep into nineties rap, so Tupac was one of the biggest ones. Nice, nice, um, nice. Biggie, N.W.A. stuff like that. Uh, mm-hmm. Little Skies was one of, one of them. Uh, this. There's there's a lot there. It's, <laughs> it's been a crazy journey. <laughs> yeah, man. Did you um learn how to play instruments? Did Pops teach you how to play? You know how to play anything or yourself? Well, that was kind of his thing. Uh, I learned three chords on the guitar, and nice. then I put it down and started dabbling more with the microphone. Okay, okay, that's what's up, man. Speaking of the microphone, what projects do you kind of got out right now? So for the listeners who want to. Uh, surprise! Uh, you know, subscribe to your content, which you put out your music. Uh, what kind of music you got out right now? Um, and is that uh, anything? Can we look forward to any music from you in the future? Um, I actually just had a feature come out with uh, an artist that I work with very regularly. Actually, IXI Blizzy. The song is called LLJ. Mm-hmm. Um. It just came out yesterday, and oh. uh, it's kind kind of a in memory to Juice World. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's we released it on the day he left us, you know, because it was the title of the song is L O J. Yeah, his fire. Juice World. Yeah. Wow. Um, I actually mentioned him in my verse, but yeah, there's that drop. Um. Uh. Been quietly piecing together another EP. Okay. Okay. Um, I I have uh, I don't I don't know if you've heard of them. Maybe you know the listeners have uh, Jag. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. Okay. I, I have a feature with him coming out sometime in January. Nice. Um. Yeah. He. Uh, He's uh he's he's doing an album. I think he said through Rock Nation. Oh, he um he reached out and I scooped the opportunity as quick as I could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, before it goes up. <laughs> That's what's right. up. L L uh, L L J. Is that out on all platforms like uh, Spotify? And it is. it is okay. It is. Got you, got you, got you. Speaking of Spotify, you know people be having a Spotify wrap up. So how was your numbers looking? Was you uh was you excited about the numbers you got for your wrap up? Did you even tune into that at all? I did actually, and uh, I actually made a post about it. I think I had what did it say around 
thirty some odd K streams. Nice. Like, that was that that was a big uplift for me. I ain't never seen those numbers. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. And <laughs> it's only gonna go up from there, you know, next year. Been... Now that you know, it's cool they do the wrap because it gives you your right. analytics on like what countries the stream, their streaming power, and you know what you've been doing as far as your capability. So imagine if you do a little bit more than what you're already doing, ain't gonna do nothing but go up. Right. Yeah. Right. It's all about effort and persistence. There you go. There you go. Speaking of effort and consistency, and any upcoming um events, anything like that you got on your agenda? I know the new year is kind of coming to an end. Uh, any upcoming events, maybe for the um for the fourth quarter, for the last month of the year, or you just kind of kind of lay low and work on material. Um, I have a show in Gastonia, January first at the Rooster. Wow! Start first day of the year. <laughs> That's fine. For you to start the year off with a bang. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I uh, another artist that uh, I work with, Delusional, the label I'm with. Uh, mm -hmm. We uh, he hit us up and was like, "Hey, we're doing a show the first of January." Mm. Yeah, he hit up my manager, my label owner. Mm -hmm. Tasha Lynn and asked if any of the artists wanted to perform and me and Young Prodigy jumped on the offer so yep. yeah we're starting the year off with a show my goodness God we working <laughs> so another thing oh, is yeah. um, exclusive about you man I checked out uh, what is it Valley by Kenneth Everhart the footwear the luxury footwear dude fire, fire. Uh, yeah yeah <laughs> I said, yeah, we got to talk about that. Yeah, man. man so I, uh, <laughs> yeah, actually, that was just a random idea that I had, man. I love sneakers. No. I'm a big Jordan person. I have I have a pair of uh, Jordan Spurzikes in the house. It's mm. crazy. <laughs> um, I, um, yeah, man, I, I seen it, and I was like, you know what? We'll do that. <laughs> so I, I customized the shoes, man, and uh, I was like, well, I can't exactly present a shoe that I customize if I don't own a pair myself. There you go. So I ordered a pair. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I got them sitting on a shelf in my bedroom. Don't, don't, don't. Now people can order yeah, those. I, uh, they, can get, they can get a pair, they can order that from a site, I'm assuming, or to get their own fresh pair in? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, if you go to either my artist page, which is Low Valley on Facebook, or my personal page, which is Kenneth Valley Everhart. Uh, somewhere in my post, I'll actually go make a post after we uh, finish the list, yep. and I will post the link for the shoes. This way, if anybody wants to go check them out, they can. Nice, nice. Signing off, Little Valley. This is the final question I have for you. And are you speaking directly to your fans and listeners tuning in? What do you want to say to them to look forward to from you and 2024? We know that's right around the corner. We're knocking at the door. I heard LLJ. I have EP. I got the I got the sneaker drop, the luxury footwear. You got the show coming up. So it's a lot. You obviously working. That that's clear. Uh, what do you want to say to your fans to be on the lookout for you and just even just thank them, you know, for tuning in uh, to your music and, and your brand. Um. You know, I wouldn't be where I am or doing what I'm doing if it wasn't for the listeners and, you know, the people that take time to listen to my music and hear what I have to say. And hopefully it resonates with, you know, who's listening and takes that time for that stream because it, 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 not everybody can relate to what I write, and that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Even if you just listen to it, mm -hmm. it means I, you know, I, I at least reached out and mm. someone heard it. Mm. And to everyone who has listened or plans on listening, I deeply appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, and I couldn't do it without y'all. That's what's up. Indy versus Major. Which one are you going? Are you going to stay Indy, Little Valley, or are you going to do Major? Which one? <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Major would be cool. Okay. But Indy, I, I feel like it's 
better to stay humble and true to you rather than get in the perspective of the industry and you know change who you are because i i feel like once once you go major you know your whole perspective on everything loses interest yeah yeah that's fair that's fair absolutely and uh, indy you own everything oh yeah and like I said, ownership is key and independence. And that's what we're looking for. You know, a lot of the stuff with the majors not knocking them. But, you know, at that point, they're looking at you as a product. <laughs> you know, they're not really trying to they, – they're doing what, uh, what's in their best interest for them, not necessarily for you, once again. So it could get a little tricky with this. So right. artists out there, uh, do your homework. Do your research. You know your situation, your circumstances. Everybody's circumstances is different. But I like to hear artists like yourself, Little Valley, talk about your own image, your own brand, your own content, your own material, really being in control of your intellectual IP. I think that's dope. I think that's fire. You working. And the fans know you're working. So once again, guys, Little Valley is here. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you for tapping in the start of one one magazine, man. It's been really dope. Uh, anytime, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate the opportunity. Absolutely. And uh, to to any artist, Lynn too. Tasha Lynn, shout out her. <laughs> yeah, man. I I wouldn't be where I am without delusional music and her, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. It's started one on one magazine, iHeartRadio. Once again, this name of this episode is Music Matters. We appreciate you guys for tuning into us weekly. Come back next week, tune into another episode as we do what we do best, featuring stars on the rise. Once again, Little Valley is checking in, checking out with Chris. Start a one on one magazine. Peace. Are you on the rise to stardom? Well, get featured in the next issue of Stardom One on One Magazine and promote your business or products today. Text MAG to 804-550-8647 or visit stardom101mag.net. You're listening to the Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast with Christopher Boykin. Be sure to subscribe and download this episode and continue to listen to Stardom on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts.